now that phase four is opening up a lot of us are going to be going back to work we're going to be going back to church we're going to be doing more indoor stuff with other people <laughs> Isn't that exciting compared to like this four months where we've been by ourselves or like a small amount of people like now we can go out there and just kind of like be around people but just because we're going to be around people does not mean we shouldn't play safe so today we're going to be trying to figure out which one works better the face shield or the face mask <laughs> Everyone has one, everyone's been wearing one. Basically, the face mask is used to protect droplets from spreading to other people. So if you cough, <laughs> it's not supposed to come out. So there are different forms of face masks that people have been wearing. You have this one, which is the most popular that a lot of people wear, including nurses and doctors. And then you have the ones that people just make, like with cloth. I actually bought this one in Japan on my trip just because I saw everyone wearing one and I was like, listen, I don't know why they're wearing it, but, but I'm gonna wear it just to play safe, <laughs> act like the locals. So I bought this in Japan and it's a bit thick on the inside. And I also bought this one, of course, during quarantine because it's a necessity. The reason why I don't really trust this when we're going out to a place of a lot of people is because with this, you have to social distance. Meaning that you cannot sit next to someone because if they're not six feet apart, it would still touch you. So is it really worth it? I don't know. But I wanted to do the test to see like, can you really like breathe through it can you really like the droplets do come out through it um so i'm going to do the test of blowing a candle so what we're going to do is we're going to light a candle and we're going to see if we can basically blow air through it and if we can blow air through it that means saliva spit droplets could also come out through the mask so we're going to test it so there's the candle lit we're going to start off with this mask all right here goes it is not that good so let's try this one that I bought in Japan all right lit you ready Ooh. oh wow it's moving but it's not going up this actually works better. Oh my God, stayed on. So if you notice, air was coming out, but it was because he was blowing the flame, but it was really tight. So it wasn't a lot. So that means this is actually safer than this. What? I would have never thought at all. Never thought. I definitely did not think this will be better. That's crazy. So what are the pros of the face mask? The, the pros about this is that it's number one, it's the most required, most acceptable in, in the whole of the United States, in fact, the whole of the world. This is most required. The second is that it can be effective with more layers. This one has about two layers in it and that is why it is much stronger than this one that just has this one layer. And then what are the cons? The cons are, it protects your nose and mouth, but does not protect your eyes. And NCDC has said that you need to protect your eyes as well because Corona can be passed on through the eyes if droplets get into the eyes. So it's not 100% safe because your eyes are exposed. Another con is that it doesn't stop you from touching your face because you can still touch your eyes, touch your head, and still spread the virus. Another con is that I feel like this is not reusable. So you have to throw it out every time you use one and that can end up being expensive in the long run because now this lasts for what like two years you're going to have to buy a lot a lot a lot of of this protector another thing i don't like about this face mask is that it doesn't work with face recognition so it's annoying especially when you're in public places and 
you're trying to use your phone now you have to touch your phone and then put it on your face and you don't want to do that so the last con for me and this is it's so hard to breathe like when I have it on and I decide to go running exercising this is hard to breathe in I end up taking it off or putting it down my chin which is not advised but um yeah it's really hard to breathe in those I had way more cons than pros like what are we doing with this thing <laughs> but that's that so okay so let's move on to the face shield and see if it's a much better protector than the face mask all right now we are going to be talking about the face shield face shield can reduce your exposure to virus by 96 percent when someone near you coughs if you noticed a lot of people are starting to transition into the face shield before everybody had the face mask but now people are wearing the face shield so there are two types of face shields that I've been seeing a lot of people wearing. One is this one with the blue band face shield, like we don't already know what it is. <laughs> it has an elastic band and also a foam stopper at the top with this transparent shield. The cool thing about this one is that it would fit almost anyone's head because it's elastic and the foam helps to stop the shield from touching your face so there's a space in between it and the second one is this really cool one I've been seeing a lot of people wearing it's in the form of glasses and basically you just put it on like you put on your regular shades and boom still the same space in there it pretty stays put because of course it's like wearing sunglasses so this is the second one I think for me the reason why I prefer this to this is just because um, especially if I'm going to work or church and I have a makeup my makeup is going to stain all this foam to the point where I'm going to have to throw it away also it's summertime so you're going to be sweating sweating on this I don't know there's something just very unhygienic about this that I don't like so that's this one for this one I like the fact that the only thing your face is touching is the rim of the glasses nothing else so when you put it on you know it looks pretty solid you can see my whole face and everything's covered your eyes are covered your nose are covered and your lips are covered see what I'm saying and then it's not touching you so even when you sweat it's not going to really affect you so if I was to pick one of the face shields, I'll definitely go with this one. So that's that. So what are the pros of the face shield? I like the fact that it protects everything. They have said it numerous times that you can get um, Corona through your eyes, your nose, or your mouth. So I like the fact that it covers everything. So look, nope, nope, nope. This is good. Also, it prevents you from touching your face. So even when your eyes itch, you're not gonna look like, <laughs> touch your eyes you know it's like protecting you from touching your face or leaning on your face or putting your chin you know like all that stuff so you're not touching your face another thing I like about this one is that it is reusable and it's also easy to wash so I think um, to clean this you can just use a Clorox wipe or you can even use soap and water if you want to the cool thing is that the glasses is um, is removable so you can just remove this and take away the glasses and just wash the shield you can use this as many times as you want and then with face recognition it works that's amazing another thing is this is easier to speak with like I don't feel like some, someone's blocking my mouth I don't feel like something's blocking my mouth like it's easier to talk I feel pretty normal talking with this also with breathing because normally it's like you cover your nose so you're only breathing like whatever air is in there at that time but now it's like everything's easy like breathing is easy speaking is easy so these are the pros there's so much pros with the, with the face shield so what are the cons of this face shield so the only con I can actually see with this is the holes on the sides, right? I mean, let's think this through. If you are not sick, right? If you are not sick, this is a very good protection for you. But if you are sick, then definitely you need to wear both because when you speak, your droplets are still going to drop through here and it could like touch little kids or whatever the case is. But wearing the face mask underneath this would help to protect you them and everybody else but if you are not sick I think this is fine because droplets don't curve so if someone speaks to you and they have droplets droplets don't curve droplets don't come up so you are basically much more protected with this face shield than with 
the face mask and that's it guys thank you so much for watching this video I hope this was very helpful for you and now you know which one to go with the face shield or the face mask I hope you really enjoyed all this information if you did please don't forget to smash the thumbs up button give me that like keep that engagement up and also if you are new to my channel and you have not subscribed to my channel please do so now click the subscribe button and join the skin first daily family and let's stay protected together all right thanks guys and I will see you in the next video peace and love Mwah.